This is going to be reaction to discussion of uh, Summertime Render, episode 7. The reaction is now going to commence. Yep. So the- wait, wait, the target families? Oh wow. Can there be only one shadow? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yep. That's nice. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Parent shadow. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Shiori is the super shadow. Yep. Oh, really? Yep. That's neat. I mean, she kind of has superpowers, if I gotta be honest. Okay. Yep. Hmm. What? What? Oh. He's strong. Yeah, but they have their own power. Huh. This is epic. Okay, that one is cute. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. You lost. Twin brother. Hmm. And she got the powers? Hit the child! Nice. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. This is very interesting. Yep. Oh, does that mean that Mio can also gain powers? But no, Ushio herself got powers. Huh. I mean, yeah. It already cost him his life. Good question. Hmm. Oof. Rotten old hag. Body horror is great in this anime, clearly. That's cool. Love it. She's hardcore. Or I guess Ryosuke is. Both of them are. I don't know. Our turn? Nail gun? Summertime rendering is the title. Yes, yes, it is. By the way, for more videos of this show or many others, feel free to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. I do love that they kind of switch the voice. You should pay more attention, obviously. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Boring. Okay. Bye bye. Nail it. Wow, oh, he's pumped up. Shinpei? Oh. Where is Shinpei? Oof. Go! Oof. Okay. It can't move! Interesting! Three shots. Wow, there is a lot of lore. Okay, good to know, good to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's nice. Why are you laughing, you creepy child shadow? Yes, probably. Hmm. Hmm. The end? Of humanity? This summer, we have an entire season in which we can have this show. Hmm. Okay. Huh? Yep. Punch the shadow. Hmm. Thank you. Didn't you want more information though? Ouch. Okay. Indeed. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but what about the Ushio shadow? Okay. I feel like you should mention it. Mio shadow? Absolutely. Ushio's would be a little more difficult. Okay, I have got of the mother, which apparently was travel through time, so on and so forth. This is a... Huh. I was wondering why it would cry. Yes. Oh, adorable. Yeah. You stepped on the shadow as well. <laughs> you can still turn okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't wonder whether those shadows, if they have telepathic link, they actually interacted. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So Nanomu has her brother in her. Oh wait. Nanomu has the personality of her brother in her. And he's the super powerful one and she's the super intelligent one. She has a lot of theories on how everything works and he's the bra- bra- I mean, no, she's the brains, he's the brawn of the operation. We learned a lot of lore about the shadows just in general as well. Where if you are able to pin them with three objects, then they can't move anymore. Also, also, we learned... Uh, God, what else? That there are different special shadows where... They are the standard ones where if you hit them once, they lose their life immediately. 
and you need to hit them with enough level force to kill a normal human. Now they're the second type where you actually need to hit them two or three times in a different in a specific area or in general. I don't know, because obviously enough uh, I'm pretty positive that Ryunosuke gave it his all and he couldn't finish off Shiori in a single blow. Hence there are some different there are different tiers of shadows. So I guess the mother or father or Big Brother, whatever is the name of the forearmed shadow, is not Shiori? I guess it's not, because we saw Shiori at the shrine and everything, so yeah. It's not her... So it's somewhere else on the island? And it can take every form, I believe, that special shadow. It's actually incredibly interesting. This anime overall is very interesting. And yep, yeah, uh, we also learned that once you kill your shadow, you're completely immune to the disease, and also, also... Uh, obviously, you know, the shadow can't come back in any way, shape, or manner. So, yeah, that is absolutely phenomenal information. And it means that once you have killed your own shadow, you, that person is always going to be trustworthy no matter what. So that's good information. Now, I do wonder though, technically speaking, because of the time travel, even though Ushio, not Ushio, oh, Ushio, oh yeah, Ushio appeared at the end, but I was gonna say, Shinpei's shadow, even though it appeared, because he time traveled now, it doesn't exist, right? So he can still be copied. I believe so. I think so, I do. But, besides the point, uh, Ushio decided to appear, and we all know that she's the special shadow that apparently was good somehow all along. I have the fantasy of ideas to how that works. Like, absolutely no idea whatsoever. But we're going to see. I really love the new team. Clearly enough, Shinpei does have to die at least one more time. I mean, no, there's 22 episodes of season 1, and I think it's still ongoing. So, yeah, there is a lot that we can get through. Shinpei needs to lose his life many times, many times. We also know she already mentioned the thing of, by the end of this summer, rather this summer, it will be the end of all. So, even though, even if they're able to get to the festival and everything is safe, that means that they have till the end of the summer to protect everyone from the shadows, right? That's how I got it, I think. Yeah, well, uh, I guess Shinpei needs to introduce more of his friends. Maybe he just needs to work with Ryunosuke and his sister and the old man to do all of that. And I guess he's not her father because he mentioned that he found them and how it was covered. Yeah, there is some sort of interesting conspiracy where Ryunosuke was his wife fighting a shadow and it was, they pretended to be dogs, but always enough he was strangled. And obviously enough, in this case, it's the same with Ushio, where she was strangled, but they pretend that she simply drowned, trying to save the girl. So yeah, there is an interesting conspiracy there, there is a lot of things that are happening, and Shinpei is definitely proving that she's a pretty intelligent main character, even though he's insanely dense. He has the denseness of communication when it comes to main characters. And, sadly enough, it's sometimes true. Even if you're smart, that does not necessarily mean that you're good at communicating. Like, actually, no, it actually, it definitely doesn't mean that. But hey, uh, besides the point, very enjoyable episode. And I am very much so looking forward to the next one. But for now, this video, you can subscribe to the channel there, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.